Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the podcast party. I am Sharina Tidwell Watson, your empowerment producer. And I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. It is a Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. Come on, somebody. Let me ask you, what are you addicted to? Hmm? Are you addicted to shopping? See, the first thing you thought about was something negative. Shopping, eating, you're addicted to ice cream, Reese's, what fruit, what are you addicted to? It is addicted to happiness Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It's addicted to happiness Tuesday. An addiction, an addiction. Hmm can be good or bad. But when you say addiction, the first thing you think about is negative. Why is that? Why is that? Have you been misconstrued by the world? Hmm? It's addicted to happiness Tuesday. And in order to have happiness, you have to be addicted to the one and only. The one and only. Come on, somebody somewhere. So, what is it that you are addicted to? So, as you know, every time I get on, I tell you to invite your friends. Invite somebody somewhere. Mm-hmm. And it's 7.31. And we normally get started about 7.35. His plan is better than our plan. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As I invite some of my friends, I encourage you to invite some of your friends. And in the process of inviting, be sure to search your heart. Make sure that it's open and ready to receive. Renew your mind. Make sure it's ready to be renewed. Who are you inviting? Let's go down here and see. Hmm, welcome to the podcast party. Again, I am Sharina Tidwell Watson, your, your empowerment producer. And I am honored, blessed, and excited to be here. I love everybody, and I want everybody to get something. I want everybody to live a better lifestyle. So, my prayer is that we all walk away today with something it is 7.33. My job is to push you. Push you, try to help you get through your problems, your pain, your processes. My job is to love you unconditionally. And my job is to help you live life on purpose because God anointed us to do just that. Are you inviting? Are you inviting? Let's help somebody. All right. It's 7.33. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the podcast party. This um, thing need to have a button where you can just hit all mm-hmm. good morning good morning Let's... thank you guys too i want to say thank you all for jumping on every morning at 7 30 a.m monday through friday then y'all be tuned in to saturday night dead on saturday night and we started a sunday school one However, it is now 7.34. And uh, we're going to get the Sunday school one popping in a second. But good morning. Welcome to the podcast party. If you can hear me throw up those, um, what you call them, emojis. Let me see you there. Help me, Lord. Let me see. It is 7.35. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. So, again, it is Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. We want to say happy Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. Happy Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. Let's open up and let's pray. Lord God, we thank you right now for being right here with us, right where we are, no matter where we are, Lord God. I thank you right now for each and every person that's on this live, Lord God, that they get something, that they get something, that they get something today from the podcast, anything that will help them along the way, Lord God, that they can pour into their children and their kids' kids, Lord God. I pray right now, Lord God, that lives are changed, that lives are well, impacted by you. Lord, thank you for loving us even when we don't love us. Thank you for giving your life, not even knowing what will come of it when it comes to us. Like you already knew, you already knew. Lord God, and you said yes anyway. You did it anyway. So we thank you, Lord God. Hmm. You are so awesome. You are so awesome. Heal, help, provide, protect, cover, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. <sighs> Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. So again, in life, we are addicted to different things. There are some good things. There are some bad things. Most of the time, people talk about addiction. They talk about the bad things, not the good things. And why is it that they always focus on the bad things? So, let me get some disorder. Thank you, Lord. What is it that you are addicted to? What is it that you are addicted to? Hmm. Is it something that could help you? Is it something that could hurt you? Is it something that could be um, hurtful to somebody else? What is it that you are addicted to? And how does that how does that affect your everyday life? How does that affect your household? How does that affect your Mentality. How does that affect your bank account? What is it that you are addicted to that could be causing a hindrance in your family? Or could be helping your family? So I say being addicted to happiness, listen, happiness comes with joy, peace, some tranquility, some serenity, I believe. (laughs) But being addicted to happiness, as I continue to delve into happiness, why am I addicted to happiness? It's because I'm addicted to God. I'm addicted to Jesus. I'm addicted to the person who created happiness. So I am addicted to happiness. That means I'm addicted to the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm, Somebody somewhere. Addicted to joy. Who gave you joy? Who gave you happiness? Addicted to peace. Who gave you that? So at the end of the day, whatever you say you're addicted to, when it comes from a positive aspect, you are addicted to Christ. You are addicted to Christ. And society has led you to believe that addiction is only negative. That is not so. That is not so. There, I created I created money. Say, Lord, you created money. I created money. Yes. Money is supposed to be used for good. But when man's hands, man's hands, get on the money. That's when it becomes a problem. I created intimacy. Intimacy between husband and wife. Because it's supposed to be good. But when man's hands get on it. Mm -hmm, Somebody, somewhere. So the things that I created. 
are meant to be for your good. However, man's hands. Man's hands. So, let's talk about some things that can help you either get addicted to happiness, peace, joy, love, good health. Um, yeah, yeah. How can we make that happen? First of all, you must say yes. Say yes. Yes, I want to be addicted to Christ. What are you saying? I want to be addicted to happiness. I want to be addicted to joy. I want to be addicted to peace. I want to be addicted to love. I want to be addicted to whatever your positive attribute is. You want to be addicted to that. But that means you want to say yes. You got to say yes. So, if you're living a life of, I guess, turmoil and negativity and drama and darkness and all those, what are you addicted to? Mm. So, I told you what addicted to happiness, who who you have to be addicted to. But who do you have to be addicted to when you're the opposite of those things that we just mentioned? See, we don't ever think about it like that. I want to be happy, but I want to live in darkness. Ah, and huh, huh, I don't know how that's going to work. I want to be at peace, but I like chaos. Mm, it's too much going on. You see the difference? Mm-hmm. And when you look at addicted to happiness and addicted to whatever else, There are some similarities in the two. And I created good things. But when they get mixed up in those two, that's where separation takes place. So I created money. Yes. But the people that's addicted to Christ enjoy money. But the people that are addicted to what? They have it too. I created intimacy. Mm Mm-hmm. But the people that's addicted to happiness, hmm, married, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I know, Lord Jesus, help us, God. <laughs> Sex, yes, yeah, intimacy, was created for good, but when man's hands get on it, it's now uh, not so good. But there are some other things that I created for you guys to enjoy. And you don't even realize what it is. And if you use it when you're addicted to Christ and addicted to happiness, there are some benefits. And then if you use them for the opposite addiction, there are going to be some detriments. Hmm. So you got to ask yourself, what are you addicted to? And not only what are you addicted to, what is your relationship to what you are addicted to. What is your relationship with money? What is your relationship with sex? What is your relationship with shopping? What is your relationship with watching pornography? Do you watch it with your husband and your wife and y'all enjoy it together or are you watching it alone and doing other things? So these things were created for good. But once man's hands got on it, Somebody, somewhere. So again, today is Addicted to Happiness Tuesday. And I want you to look within and evaluate you. And ask yourself, what am I addicted to? And what is my relationship with what I am addicted to? Mm -hmm. And don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. You know your relationship with what you're addicted to. You know your relationship. If it's that long weave, Lord, somebody somewhere. If it's that long weave and you're addicted to it, be honest. You don't even like yourself no more because you got your real hair out and your real eyebrows. and your real, So you don't even like the real you because you've been living fake all your life. Or since you could afford that $500 hair. So you don't even like you. I've seen people wear the eyelashes. They got the eyelashes on. They're cute and everything. But if you take them eyelashes off, they don't even look the same no more. 
So it's like now you're addicted to these eyelashes. Now I created the eyelashes. Come on, Jesus. You created the eyelashes for us to be, you know, to enhance what you already gave us. But when you put them eyelashes on to go all the way up to your uh, hairline and to your eyebrows, baby girl, yeah, yeah, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm, somebody somewhere. So, the things that we are addicted to don't necessarily have to be negative. It's about your relationship with what you are addicted to. So, I encourage you to be addicted to happiness. I encourage you to be addicted to happiness and get a good, healthy, faithful relationship with the things I created for you. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. So. Check your heart. Check your heart. Check your mindset. Check your perspective. Don't be a follower. And don't get the leftovers. Don't get the leftovers. See, the... The extra people, the people are always getting the leftovers. Don't get the leftovers this time. Open up your mind. Use the gifts that God gave you. Use the use the use what He gave you. Don't get left behind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. It's addicted to happiness Tuesday. It's addicted to happiness Tuesday. And again, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. And don't get left behind. Father, thank you again for meeting us, beating us, and joining us here, passing through, introducing yourself to some, and revisiting others. I pray right now that they don't get the leftovers, Lord God. I pray right now that they evaluate themselves and find out what it is that they are addicted to. And also find out what is your relationship with what you are addicted to. And be able to go out and help somebody else somewhere. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have an amazing day. I hope this helped you all. Find out what you are addicted to. Find out what it is. It can be used for the betterment of your life and the world. God bless you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. <laughs>